What's up, better days? The sun's just starting to climb up over the treetops. I'm with my buddy Aaron, and we're at Center Hill Dam. We're gonna do this six mile trip, and we're gonna do the first two hours of it in this fog. It's gonna be nice. Here in a few minutes, once we get them figured out and riled up, we'll be watching them right here in front of us. And then they'll come chasing after it and you'll set it down. And then they'll come take that pink ball and you'll see it disappear. But your instinct won't be to do anything. When you see it disappear, when you see them approaching it and it disappear, you gotta just give them that quick wrist pop. Yeah. You're just gonna have to drag it. Oh, look at the trout chasing it. Yeah. Okay, so we're on, our, we're on the bite. They just, they gotta let this fog die out. Twitch it and see if he comes around to it. Oh, you had way too much slack in that line. See how much slack there was before you could make it twitch? Mm -hmm. You gotta make sure you keep that slack out. It's hard to do because you're gonna feel like you're constantly dragging it in. You gotta find that in between, between dragging the lure in and keeping the slack out. Yeah, I was trying to get off this. Nah, you're, like I said, you're gonna have to take it off of there. <laughs> it's every cast out here. I mean, really, and it's every cast where you use this method, you're just gonna have seaweed, the worm's gonna come down the hook, you're gonna have to reset the sinkers. But like, what I'll see is like people, the sinkers will slide down to six inches and then they'll just reel it in and cast it back out. Well, no wonder you're not catching fish. Make it the perfect presentation every single time. Yeah, I'm definitely guilty of that. Get yeah. it back in the water. Oh, here we go. Set it down, get the slack out. When I say set it down, I mean get that rod tip back down to the spot. That a little up from there is where you usually hold it. See, oh, that was okay. a big hook set. Set it back down. He's he's gonna come for it. He's gonna come for it. Told you. Got you it. got him. Told you he's gonna come for it. Now that's a brown. It looks like. <clears throat> get my hands wet. You can just steer it into here. You don't need a picture, do you? Nah, it was you this one. Look at that. One that is crazy. Trout usually don't do that. It's a rainbow. Well, I'd like to get a couple pictures before we go, but then... Okay, grab a piece. It's your first one of the day. Okay. It's tough when it's upstream like that to feel if anything's going on. Kind of pull it in a little. You don't, you, if you want it angled anyway, you want it angled a little downstream just to, so you can feel what's going on. There you go. That's two in a row. Just got him in here. If it's a brook, we'll get a picture. It looks like a rainbow, though. Uh -oh. He swallowed it. He got off. Oh, no, he didn't. He spit it, though, which is nice. That hook is in his lip now. Oh, no, it's not. Darn. Hey, baby. Simmer. Simmer. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Gotcha. Okay. Drop it down, cause like, they seem to like it on the fall. But you can't feel it when they hit it on the fall, so you're gonna have to watch it and try to time it up. Yeah, it's hard to get the slack out on the free worm. Mm-hmm. It might be easier just to keep it where you can feel it and not let it lay limp. So just go ahead and get the slack out. See if you can see it. See if you can twitch it. He got it. You got him. That's the first successful one of those we've done this year. This is just weightless worm fishing. We're watching these fish eat. That's a brown. Do you need a picture of a brown? Yeah. Okay, put him in this one. There you go. You're good. Grab your camera. Oh, it's a male and it's super, super colorful. Nice. Let's see if there's a school of acting yeah. ones right there. See, that's what you got to do. See how it's very first cast? When I, what I try to explain to people is it's almost always first cast. They say, well, y'all have made a bunch of casts. You've caught several fish. That's not first cast. So what I mean to say is like first cast with a new lure. As soon as we change it up, you get a baby brown. Just point it over here. 
It's a little boy, and he's got that Better Days hook set right in the bottom lip. Mm -hmm. I love that, man. That is stellar. You can't hook them in the brain or the eye if you hook them in the bottom lip. And look how tough that little bottom lip is. Yeah. Look how tough he is. Now, that's a boy, and he is just peacocking for us. Do that again, though. What? See, that's what it should be like. It, you would get the right lure. Like, I was like, see if... I didn't say anything other than see if there's an active fish that'll hit this because I wasn't like guaranteeing it. But like, it just seems like we know there's a pile of active fish out here and they're not hitting our worm all of a sudden. But they're still there. Hell, we could see them. Mm -hmm. So just toss that out there. And sure enough, it, the one that was the most active, he was like, oh, I'm not letting that get away. Yeah, cast him along this line, cast him out that direction. Give it a four or five cast and see if you can't pull in two or three fish real quick. Then get back to what you were doing because it's going to get hit. That's fine. It's floating too fast. I hate that. We're still going to catch fish, but it's not what it used to be. Yeah, it's going to cause us to have to get a little bit closer. And There we go. No, we don't. We did get it. That's a big one. That's a big one. I got the net right here. It is. It's a big trout, dude. Oh it's a massive trout. Unless it's hung on the bottom. Are you yeah. fighting a fish? This is a fish. Then you've got the fish of this a lifetime. A you've got the fish of a lifetime right there. Uh. Don't back up. Don't over reel. If the reel is peeling, let it peel drag. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is the biggest one I put some money on this year. Oh, no, it's not. I had a buddy hook one of these the other day. Man, this is a fish. His name was Carlos. He came up from Miami to fish with me. Yeah, you, you got a bruiser, bro. Keep that rod down a little, not up at your chest. There you go. Not, don't keep your hands into your chest so much you're fighting them a little too hard. Dude, this, this is, it's not 20, it's not a keeper, but it's so close. I can't do that. I can't just stab at him. He's got to tire out a little. He's got to lay over on his side a little. There you go. See him on his side? There you go. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap Man. on a cracker. So he's not quite three pounds, but that's a hefty boy. Go ahead and get all the pictures you want. Jeez. We'll get a picture of you holding him too. I think it's a little girl from what I saw just now. Let's see here. I've never seen a trout this big, I don't think. She got it too. She got it. They put my face in there dancing and all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, so we need to get some, gosh, we need to get some measurements on this fish. It's not quite 20. We don't need to measure it. It's just illegal. We need to get pictures of you with it. Just sit your rod down like that. If you'll pull your camera out and get it pulled up, I'll have you get your hands wet and then get your hands on the fish and then I'll take your picture. The sun's at our back, so we're good. Better days fishing at gmail.com. Hit me up, guys. I'm going to do my best to put you on something like that. Now, you don't pull it out of the net till you have your hands on it. See what I'm saying? Yep. Till you're certain it's not going to go away. It is so slippery. Well, you got to get your hands on it. Uh, all right. Make long arms, long arms. There we go. Bigger than the mountain. Down fish, down. Hold it down towards me. Down lower. Now you're bigger than the mountain, and the fish is bigger than you. Okay, that's your fish. Put it back. That's a little girly. Look at her go. Look how monstrous that, that is fish, fish is. Yeah. Biggest one you've seen? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm good. By yeah. a lot. Then I'm doing my job. Here, use my shirt, dry your hands off. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I don't want you to grab your phone wet handed. Bro, none of that matters. You get the fish in first, you worry about all this yeah. stuff later. <laughs> Man. We're just getting started, bro. Yes, 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 yes. Now let that sit down. See what happens there. Can even do this. 
let it really set down out there at that distance. And because as it swings in, it comes closer to us. But if you let a bunch of slack out, it'll kind of pop down a little bit into that hole right there where that fish is. One. Yeah, perfect. The other one. That's all right. We're gonna count it. Hope it's a brookie. That way we got all three rainbow, brook, and brown. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We'll stick a brookie eventually. Swimming right at us. They, they make it easy when they're little. It's not like that big mama. <laughs> Better days. Right in the lower lip. A little rainbow. Mm -hmm. Hooked him in the lower lip. And then he had to dip. See you, bud. Yeah, I had never seen all those Spider-Man movies, so I've still never seen Garfield Spider-Man. And I also haven't, see how much easier it was to hook that fish? Mm -hmm. I also haven't seen the other one. And I've seen a couple of the Tobey Maguires, but who was the other guy? Uh, it was Garfield was the tall, pretty boy. Andrew Garfield, yeah, the, what's his name? You hadn't asked me, I could have told you. Um, the newest guy. That's a brown. What's his name? Toby Maguire and uh, Andrew Tom Garfield Holland. and Tom Holland. Yeah, Tom Holland is Tom Holland is the one I've seen. Toby Maguire's I hadn't seen, and I, I still haven't seen Andrew Garfield. Who I just he don't look like a nerd to me. And Spider Man's yeah. supposed to be a nerd. The Andrew Garfield ones were okay. They he's were just he's just not a nerd. Yeah. I mean, look at him. Like this dude he's is like tall and man. handsome. Yeah. His hair. Like you look at Tobey Maguire's hair and you're like, oh yeah, by the time he's 40, that's all gone. It's that Osprey screaming. As you lower that rod tip down, you need to gather that line out of it quicker. Because they can be hitting, like you set the hook and then there's a 1001, 1002, 1003 before you ever get any contact with that lure. In those three seconds, they could have hit it two or three times. They'll come over, smack it, smack it, smack it, and you're not noticing it. Beautiful guys fighting. Mm -hmm. Well, you finally got one hooked inside the mouth, which is always going to make them fight harder. That mama, she had it down in her belly. There he is. That's the bite, boy. <laughs> I know, I see it. He got it. Did you see it go yeah. sideways? How he took it sideways? Wasn't that a neat bite? Yeah. Oops, he's still on it though. <laughs> a little brown. Yeah, a couple of them grab it over there where it's shallow. That's good. See how the pink ball's sticking out? Mm -hmm. We should land this fish sooner and it should be hooked in the mouth and it should be a brown trout. Swing him over here. What was that? the current look at look at where the hook set is though yeah i mean that is that better days hook set guys on the money. that's where i want it that's where i hook them and when i teach people to fish my method that's where they hook them too isn't that cool i just feel like that does the least amount of damage and gets the trout out the easiest where they're still fighting strong pull it in they're gonna hit it like right as soon as it gets in those suds so it's like you can't like earlier when I was like, let some slack out. This one you got to do the opposite. You got to make sure there's no slack once it hits the water. How's it going? Anything? Yeah, there was some dude who come by earlier in a kayak just like that. Boy, he was wearing them out. No, he wasn't. This man, was he not slaying them? Mm -hmm. He must have had 10 fish in the boat. Oh, you're lying for him. He ain't going to out catch me. <laughs> she knew I was lying. Right she knew I was lying. You see that? Yeah. She said, no, grab the slack out. Yeah, don't don't mess around. Grab that slack out. Go ahead and get the slack out of there. Yeah, get it off all the way. There you go, to where the line isn't laying limp on the surface. Grab that slack out, too. It's too limp. That big mama hits it when it's floating. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She likes it when it's bumping on the bottom. There's a fish on it. Tough. Tough to stick them. He got it again. He's messing around with it. The ball, I, don't see the fish. I see the ball, I don't see the fish either. It's gone. Did you see that? Yep. Did you see that? Yep. How awesome was that? We didn't see the fish. Did you? 
I did, yeah. Oh, I didn't see the fish. I saw the ball disappear and said it's gone. You set the hook. The, I saw the shadow. Okay, and good. The ball disappear half I, second later. I did not. I didn't see the shadow. All I saw was the ball disappear. I said it's gone. <laughs> Just like South Park. And it's gone. Cast that direction, not straight. Yeah, but that direction. Perfect. There you go. Grab that slack out. All right, you're good. Should be settling down right now and getting bit. Right there. Bite it. Bite it. <laughs> How bizarre. Got him. Just took him a second. He knew he wanted it though. Be a brook. He's coming right for us. <laughs> Shoot him, it's coming right for us. <laughs> Yeah. Side saddle hook up. Whoop. I need to. You know what? We can we can fool another one with that right there. The way they're hitting right now. Go ahead and pitch it back out there. Yeah. Go with the wind. Zoom it down there. Forty-five degree angle. There you go. Nice. You don't have to jerk the, nah, see it's downstream. So you don't have to jerk any like um, slack out of it because it's not gonna be bumping and creating more slack. It's just gonna be relatively tight. You should be able to feel the bite the whole time. Bump it, smack it, hit it, twist it, pop it, twist it, pull it. <laughs> Man, if I had a nickel, Look at this fish. It's perfect. It's a perfect little guy. He's running right in here. Another brown. I told you we could fool one more fish with that dead worm. Where he pinned him. It's not a coincidence that, that happens so often. He do. He got a tore up lip, and then he had a dip. See ya, bud. See that right there. I don't know. That's a twisted up, mangled. Up. What do they say about the Grinch? Mangled up knots. What do they say? <laughs> Full of moldy old spots <laughs> oh yeah oh i was trying to guide you through earlier i was like if you do this wrong you're gonna get stuck four people and i well, was two kayaks never mind i thought that was one big oh like a big catamaran yeah yeah i could see that okay that's a good one right there we should be able to get us a good one Hit that 45 degree angle again now. Go with that wind. Yeah, zoom that bad boy out there. Click it over and just hold it now. When you cast downstream, you don't have to reel in the slack. It just immediately starts bumping. Which is my preferred method. Which is my preferred method. You see why it's my preferred method. Look how much That's bigger that fish one. is. Yeah. I know, I'm gonna get the net. little discrepancy of casting downstream as opposed to up look how big this damn yeah, fish is, is. Fish. my good no because you were hooked so deep in that other one you got this hooked in the mouth another rainbow in the slot another giant rainbow in the slot i'm gonna need you to send me the pictures of these fish you know what i'm saying yeah so i can be like oh look what my client did today Man. but he, he's gonna have to lay on his side. So you just gotta keep fighting him until he lays on his side, then you can roll him into this net. See how it's not going on his side? Got him. Another bruiser. Now this one's not as big. The other one, two and a quarter pounds. This one, just a, a little over a pound. But you, you can see how much bigger that other fish was yeah. than this one right here. 
beautiful. Yeah, I guess. You just gotta fish it though. There it is. <laughs> Got him. That was too funny. We wore them out today, guys. This is the Caney Fork River from Center Hill Dam down to um, Happy Hollow Boat Ramp. That's a little brown trout. It's the 27th that we put in the boat today. So, well, we stood on the bank. It's easy. If you're, if you're not a kayaker or if you're not a fisherman, we can come out, we can do this trip and just we'll put you on them, we'll get you this feel. You'll get to see what it's like to catch this many fish. This is the Caney Fork River and I tell people where to go fishing. If you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching you guys. Have a better day.